<laughs> Hello, Flat Rock fourth and fifth graders. I want to talk to you today about Battle of the Books and just check in with you, see where you guys are, see what you've been talking about with your teammates and how you're doing with reading the book. So let's jump right in and get started. First of all, how is your team doing? Have you guys made a plan yet or a strategy for reading the books? Have you started reading the books yet? Maybe you've read all the books. Maybe you're just a couple books in. Any of them are, are fine, but I want you thinking about it and realizing that we are almost in November. Battles are in February, so you've got about three more months, which is plenty of time, even if you haven't started reading, but you need to start reading. Now is the time to get it done. It is no longer the time to be staring at the books and thinking, I'll start those soon. All right, soon is over. Now's the time to get reading. So how can you divide up the reading? Well, here's one example, and I'm gonna share several examples with you. So you can look at the books, you can look at how long they are and just kind of decide what would be a fair way so that we're each reading about the same amount of material. If you do that, here's one way you could divide it. Person one might read Amel Unbound, Unsung Hero of Birdsong USA and Willow of the Wood. Person two might read Arlo Finch, Echo Sister and Saving Winslow. And the third person might read Finding Langston, Donut Fix, and Hard Scrabble. Now that's nine books. All of you might wanna read Max and the Midnights because that's a graphic novel and I know most of you wanna read that anyway. That's one way to do it. You can divide those three, three, and three, and then say instead that everybody's gonna read Willa of the Wood or whatever book it is. Maybe there's one book on there that everyone wants to read. There's nothing that says all of y'all can't read that book. All of you read it and then divide up the other ones, however you want to do it. I will tell you that reading level wise, all of the books are a third or fourth grade level, except for Matt, um, Willa of the Wood. And that one's a little bit higher. All of you can do it. Fourth and fifth graders can easily do it, but that's the most challenging read. But guess what? If you're a car rider in the morning, Miss Dodd is reading it aloud and you've got plenty of time. So all of you read it, talk about it if you want to. And I think you're going to really enjoy the book. It's not a book that's so challenging you can't read it. It's just one that you're really going to have to concentrate on as you read. It was one of my favorites. It's a fantastic book, very well written. But again, don't save it until the week before battles start. All right, here's another example. You might decide that every person is going to read every book. That would be 10 books a piece. Or you might just decide what interests you. And maybe for one person, there's four books they really wanna read and, and another book, another person, well, there's really only two books they really wanna read. And then the other person reads three. Anything is fine. I want you to understand that, that we're not saying everybody has to read every book, though you might want to. But I am telling you that someone on your team should read every book. Every book needs to be read by someone. Otherwise, when you get to battle week, you're not gonna know the answers for a particular book that you may not have read, all right? And again, I said this before and I'll say this again, I have never seen a team go out in the first round where they've read all the books. I, I didn't even say that everybody had to read all the books, but where someone, you've divided the reading and someone has covered each book, you do really well in Battle of the Books. So let that inspire you to get reading. All right, what will the battle be like? Well, as in previous years, if you've competed, there will be two teams that go up against each other. Remember, there's three people on a team. There will be a total of 20 questions, 10 for each team. There's not a buzzer, so it's not first one to buzz in. It's team A gets question one, team B gets question two, Team A gets question three, team B gets question four, and so on and so forth. When you answer the question, of course, the question is always going to be the book type. But when you answer the question, you get three points for saying the correct book title. And then two bonus points for knowing the author. So as you read the books, make sure to memorize the authors. For example, if in the battle you get five questions right, and you don't know any authors. Five times three, three points would be 15 points total. But if you knew the authors too, five times five would be 25 points. That's a pretty big point difference. That could be the difference in winning or losing. So learn the authors. Why do we need to learn the authors, you say? Well, when you know the author, 
and you liked the book, you might want to see if that author has written more books. Knowing an author is a good thing because it helps you find more books to read. And when you say the author, you do not have to say the first name. You can, but you have to say the last name and it has to be said in such a way that I understand it. If the author's last name is Johnson and you say, well, blah, 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 you can't get credit for that one. Now, if there's an author's last name that's hard to pronounce and I know what you mean, that's great. All right. So what, again, will the battle be like? Well, questions are going to alternate between the teams. But if one question is um, not answered by a team, it will be reread and offered to the other team. At the same time, if one answer is said, but they don't know the author, those are just dead points. It, the whole question doesn't go to the other team. Answering the question itself is all you need to get those three points. It is single elimination. That means you keep playing until you lose. And when you lose, you're out because it is single elimination. All right, let's do some example questions. And these are from battle books this year. In which book did the main character's mom teach him and his sisters to bake just as soon as they were old enough to digest chocolate? Now, you may or may not have read this book yet, but think about the titles. Think about the covers. Think about which book this might be. Are you ready to see the answer? The answer is The Donut Fix. And if you knew that answer, you would get three points. The author is Jesse Janowitz. You can say Jesse Janowitz or you can say Janowitz for two more points. If you just say Jesse, you don't get any points. First names won't cut it. Last name is what I'm looking for. All right, let's do another one. In which book did the main character begin taking care of a baby animal, even though everyone seemed to think it would die? You may or may not have read this book yet, but think about the covers. Think about what the books are about. Which book deals with animals? All right, are you ready to see the answer? Saving Winslow by Sharon Creech. If you got the author and the title, you're at five points for that question. All right, I think you get the idea now. That's how every question will be. Every answer will be one of the 10 books. Battle Week is February 15th through 19th, 2021. So just about three months away. You can do this. Even if you haven't started reading yet, you can do it. Three months is plenty of time when you have three people on your team dividing up the reading. What are the battle books? Let's review them. Of course, I have posters up and it's in the hallway too. It's on our website. You can see it lots of places. But we have Amel Unbound by Aisha Saeed, Arlo Finch in the Valley of Fire. And you need to say the full name because there are three books in that series. And you need to give the full name as the answer by John August, The Donut Fix by Jesse Janowitz. And incidentally, some of the books have a red cover for this book and some have a blue. Same book. They just published it with two different colors. Echo's Sister by Paul Mosier. Finding Langston by Lisa Klein Ransom. You can just say Ransom for the answer of the, of the author. Hard Scrabble by Sandra Dallas. Max and the Midnights by Lincoln Pierce. Saving Winslow by Sharon Creech. The Unsung Hero of Birdsong USA by Brenda Woods, and Willa of the Wood by Robert Beatty. Friends, I hope that you enjoy reading these books. I hope that you are getting excited at the battles. If you have questions, please come to me. Please ask me. But in the meantime, please talk to your team, make a game plan, and be reading the books. Talk to you soon.